Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is just one of those games that I rarely talk about on my channel, so I might as well make another video on it. You are welcome, Superstar Saga fans, and since I rank the areas for most Mario and Luigi games, I might as well do it for Superstar Saga as well. Don't worry, the ones for Bowser Inside Story will be coming out soon. So the areas for Superstar Saga, I think there's 10 main areas in the game. I didn't count some of the more specific ones, like the airport or Har Hall's factory, just because at the end of the day, you're rarely doing anything there, but the main areas to think about with Superstar Saga are on the list. And also, one of the areas on this list doesn't have a name. <laughs> it just doesn't have it. So I had to make up my own name for it. So that was that was fun. So let's get right into this list. But actually, before we get started on this video, make sure to like this video so I actually know that you guys like Superstar Saga videos. And make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't. I'm trying to get 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But other than that, let's get started on this list. Of course, Stardust Fields was going to be at the bottom of the list. I mean, you barely do anything here. You only come here once, and it's right at the beginning of the game. This is definitely the first area of the Bean Bean Kingdom, so of course it was going to be at the bottom of this list. So, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, what is there here? I mean, the border jump was okay. I don't really come back here to get beans. I didn't really think it was that enjoyable, but it wasn't hard. I think getting 100 coins was like a fine concept, but obviously that wasn't hard at all. What else? I mean, Tollstar was a not very interesting boss for that stage of the game. It was extremely easy. I mean, the Starshade Bros were okay. I think the abilities were probably the best part, but that's not really saying much. Yeah, Stardust Fields is not that great. It is probably better than stuff like Holly Jolly Village, but at the end of the day, Stardust Fields is the first location in the game, and you don't even come back here, so it makes sense to be at the bottom of this list. Guarhar Lagoon is not a very good location in my opinion. As you can tell, it is my second least favorite location in the game. It was almost the first worst, but at the very least, I'd way rather go through Guarhar Lagoon than Stardust Fields again, so it kind of makes sense. Guahar Lagoon though, I don't know if it's a popular or unpopular opinion to dislike this place, but I really do not like it, and it really retains to the ocean. The ocean is my main problem with Guahar Lagoon. Oh, oh, ocean is just very annoying to deal with. When you're swimming, it technically works. It is a bit annoying that you have to button mash, and I really do not like that you basically have no chance of getting first strikes. I think it's pretty hard to, especially with stuff like bloopers. But at the very least, that's not a big problem. What I do have a big problem with, though, is when you're moving on the ground. And you may be thinking, oh, well, you don't have to move on the ground. Yes, you do. Mainly because you're using puzzles with the fire hand and the thunder hand. And you have to get into precise positions with them to actually use the ability correctly with each puzzle. So because of that, you're moving on the ground quite a bit to actually solve them. And that's when it's really slow and boring and annoying. That's where OO Ocean really suffers in my opinion. But Guahar Lagoon itself isn't very good in my opinion either. I mean, the main problem with it is just, it's just so unmemorable and forgettable. The only thing I remember is just, just Hermie the Third, and that's it. And this is why I do not like Guarhar Lagoon. It's just a very forgettable place, and the ocean was just very annoying to traverse. Definitely deserves to be number 9 on this list. Huu Mountain is a fine location. It's fine. We're actually out of the bad locations from Super Star Saga. And you may be thinking we haven't talked about Tihi Valley or Joke's End yet. You're right. We're still out of the bad locations, though. But back onto the subject of this segment. Hoo Hoo Mountain is okay. I mean, everything else just kind of balances to okay in this place. I mean, the village, it's fine. It's okay. It is kind of annoying that you have to kind of talk to everybody. But it, it's it's fine. It's a fine location. Uh, what else? I mean, the enemies are fine. They're kind of easy, but it's early game, so it's fine. The bosses average out to being fine because I think Dragaho is a pretty bad early boss, but I think Hooris is a pretty good one. What else is there? I mean, using the spin jump and the high jump I think is fine. It's good for early game, but I really wish it was like in Partners in Time where you had every single ability in the game while you're climbing the mountain. But I mean, 
that's not really a problem. The main problem with it is that the spin jump and the high jump are very basic abilities, so they kind of get tiring after a while. I also don't like Water Mario. I mean, I don't like Water Mario in any Mario & Luigi game, so it kind of makes sense. I mean, again, Hoo Mountain, it's a fine location. It's not bad. There's nothing really annoying about it, but at the end of the day, it's very early in the game, so it is kind of boring, which is why it's only at number 8. Chucklehuck Woods was so close to being a genuinely enjoyable area from this game. It just needed that little touch to put it above. I mean, if I had to put a genuinely enjoyable area on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd put it at a 7, and I'd put Chucklehuck Woods at a 6.9. Haha. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's just super close to that, and it's kind of sad that it kind of missed it. But at the end of the day, I do like going through Chuckalug Woods. I mean, at least the first time. The second visit is very odd. I mean, you have to go for a Beanstar piece, and you're fighting Popple, but he's all alone. And you have to do the mini game with the worms. It's very odd. I don't get it. But the first visit is genuinely good. I mean, you have Popple and Rookie. You have the enemies that have the gold beanie, which is enjoyable to find. You have the bean fruits. You have mini Mario and... Wait, what's the Drill Bros equivalent to this game? I don't know, but putting Luigi in the ground to get beans mainly. You get what I'm talking about. And Chuckleator is definitely a good boss. So, there's definitely some enjoyable things of Chuckaluck Woods. But, I mean, I don't know what it is that just doesn't make it a 7. Maybe it's the music kind of being generic. Maybe it's just the area late. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it needed something to make it a genuinely enjoyable area. But how it is right now, it just barely missed the mark. Bean Bean Castle is the first location in the game that I genuinely do like. It's definitely a fun area to go through, and I'm not just counting the plumbing, even though that's really the only footage I have for it. I also like just the Bean Bean Castle itself. I mean, the music here. The best thing about Bean Bean Castle by far is the music. I mean, it just sounds so good. It sounds so royal. It fits extremely well. I love how it sounds. I do like the plumbing as well, though. I mean, I like the enemies there. I like the puzzles. But at the end of the day, once you're done with the plumbing, which is very early in the game, it's not going to be a great place to go to because you're not really doing anything. I mean, the Queen Bean fight is here, which is definitely a good fight for this early in the game. But at the end of the day, after the Queen Bean fight, there's nothing really here to do except for the music, of course. The area outside Bean Bean Town slash Castle. Yeah, there's no name for this on the Mario Wiki. This is the area I was talking about. So someone called the Bean Bean Plains on my Discord server. We're going to be going with that because it actually fits pretty well. Bean Bean Plains. Bean Bean Plains is a genuinely good area. I talked about in my Mario and Luigi game ranking that my favorite thing about Superstar Saga is just exploring all the secrets. And Bean Bean Plains is the hub of them. There's so many secrets in this place that you can find, and it's very fun to do so, especially when you have every single ability in the game. Also, finding all the bean fruits was very enjoyable as well. Probably my biggest highlight of the place. I do also like the very high-level enemies when you go into this place very early. I know for a fact that some people won't like that, but when you're fighting enemies that are way higher level than you, it's very challenging, and for me personally, it's very fun. I mean, this location just has some really good stuff about it, and I know for a fact a lot of people will probably just put this maybe up towards the bottom. It's not very memorable, but because of all the secrets and all the fun you have finding stuff like the bean fruits, I do genuinely like this place, and it does deserve to be on the top half of this list. We are on to the great location to Superstar Saga, and yes, we still have not talked about Teehee Valley or Joke Send on this list, but that's not what we're talking about in this segment. We're going to be talking about Woohoo University, and to be honest, Woohoo University is a great location, but I don't really have much to talk about. There's only one negative, and that's the music is, well, it's only okay. I think it fits, and that's why I think it's okay. But I kind of wish it was something different, maybe something like a Toad Town for Partners in Time. Of course, I was going to squeeze Toad Town somewhere in this list. But anyway, 
I think that Woohoo University is very fun to traverse. I really like the enemies here. I like both of the bosses, both Popcorn Rookie and Cacoletta. I really do like the puzzle here where you have to lead the light into the certain room. I think that was a good concept. But most importantly, the biggest highlight of Woohoo University is Luigi gets captured when he's in the barrel and you're only using Mario for a short period of time. It's very fun to do and I really love when the bros are separated. Again, it's very fun and it's very different. And there's also the Donkey Kong reference where you have to jump over barrels. It's very fun, and I love this segment of Woohoo University. But other than that, I mean, Woohoo University is still a great location to navigate. I really do like this place. It's very dark. The only thing is that I wish the music was a bit different, and maybe if that happened, it'd be higher on this list. But where it is, it's at number four. Tihi Valley is number three. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is way higher than some people probably expected, but most people have a problem with escorting Peach. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't. I had a lot of fun with Tihi Valley and escorting Peach for two main reasons. One, I actually thought the puzzles with Peach and actually managing where she went is pretty fun. But the main reason is that I never had a problem with her getting captured because I always defeat each enemy before I actually let Peach cross because I like XP, not even just to protect her, just because I like getting that EXP for Mario and Luigi game. So in that regard, I mean, since I like the puzzles and escorting Peach and I like the enemies as well, I think Trunkle is a good fight. I mean, I genuinely like Tihi Valley. This is probably one of my most unpopular opinions with Superstar Saga, but I really do enjoy Tihi Valley. Also, the music and the atmosphere is great. I just, I love so much stuff about Tihi Valley, and personally for me, not for a lot of people, I really do not dislike anything about this place, which is why it's at number three on this list. <laughs> Bowser's Castle is the final area in the game, and of course it's pretty good. I mean, it has good enemies, it has really good puzzles, it has really good puzzles leading up to the Koopaling fights, and of course it is the final boss of Bowletta and Cackletta's soul. So overall, it's a very good area, and of course, how could I forget the atmosphere of music and the Fawful fight? There's a lot of good things in Bowser's Castle, but I haven't mentioned the Koopalings yet. Because that's really my only problem with Bowser's Castle, because they are good fights in my opinion, but you start getting tired of them, because you have to deal with all seven Koopalangs, which, which is just not great. It's not a huge negative, it's kind of a minor flaw, but it is the reason why it is at number two instead of number one. I also like the number one spot more, so it is why Bowser's Castle is number two. But overall, it's a very good final area that I do like going through. Joke's End is a very hated area in Superstar Saga, and of course it has to be number one on the list. It's the second to last area that you have to go in the entire game, and in my opinion, it's just so fun to go through, mainly because Mario and Luigi get completely split up for almost half, oh actually I think over half of Joke's End, and it's very fun to go through because of it. I also like the eeriness of this place, it's just... It's so creepy. Most of the areas are very upbeat and happy, but no, this place is very creepy. The music really helps with that as well. And for the people that have only played the original Superstar Saga and complain about the music for Joke Send, that is fair because I've only played the remake and it doesn't really sound bad. It actually sounds pretty good and I actually like it. So for the people that say that, I actually understand that complaint. I also like Jajora and Jajora's friend. It's a really good boss fight, but at the end of the day, I just love that Mario and Luigi were split up for almost all of the area. It's just so fun to go through, and it's why I love Toad Town for Partners in Time. But here, it's literally Toad Town, but on steroids. It's really fun to go through, and it's why Joke's End is my favorite location in Superstar Saga. Thank you guys for watching this video. My next video will be on... I don't know, I'll probably have you guys vote on Discord. And speaking of that, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description below. Make sure to like the video if you last this long, and subscribe, because again, you last this long, so you might as well. But other than that, G-bye.